So what do we got going on? You know, we got a lot, a lot of data readings came out. GDP report, gross domestic product came out. One of the fine readings, and I got this from KP, actually was if you looked at the last quarter, specifically for the PCE report within the GDP report, we actually saw, so PCE is a personal consumption expenditure report. How are people been spending their money? So today, this morning, in about an hour, we're gonna get last month's reading, which again is usually lagged by 12 months, uh, but we got the essentially last quarter's reading and that actually showed that PCE was about 4%, but the core was at 2.4%. That's huge. Again, the Fed wants to be at what? Two. So do we look at 12 month data today or do we look at, I would rather look at that quarterly data of three months, right? We also got earlier new home sales, which was close to about 760,000. Again, limited inventory. Builders are going to take advantage, even with slightly higher interest rates, people are going to gravitate towards new construction. Okay, so a lot of different new readers. We also got pending home sales, which again, year to date, I believe was showing a little over close to 4 million. People are still buying. This is super, super, super important. I've seen a very, very common trend. This week alone, my clients and I had a little over eight offers accepted, which is great. There is inventory out there. There are certainly still competitive markets within certain areas. So if you're a consumer out there, and I always say, put the interest rate to the side. If you can afford the monthly payment and the cash to close, it is absolutely a good time to buy. There's so many goons out there that are now coming out saying renting versus buying and rent is better. I think there was an article with the Wall Street Journal. Listen to me. I am getting a lot of clients offers accepted with seller's concession requests, instead of them going with the price cuts, we are asking for seller's concessions, doing two one buy downs. We are simultaneously also exploring various different avenues of offering at list price, if not less. I guarantee you 100%, and you could keep me liable with this video later on, that next year when the rates do start trickling down into the high sixes, low sevens, we are once again going to flood the gates and we're gonna get a very, very, very high number of offers per deal, okay? Homes right now, I believe, are staying on the market for about 21 days. It is going to be that much more quicker. And I'll be honest with you, in some areas, specifically in the state of New Jersey, we're still dealing with highest and best. We're still dealing with a little bit of offers that are coming in 30, 40, 50K over. So keep that in mind. I would rather my clients pay a little bit more per month get rid of it later, whether it's a year, two, three, four, you're acquiring an asset at a cheaper price that I can guarantee it will be next year. And if we thought home prices have appreciated over the last couple of months or even last couple of years, it is going to skyrocket next year. So any questions that you guys have, let me know. Everyone's situation is going to be a little different, okay? But if you're somebody, in my opinion, we